Okay, let's go over finding the center and the radius of this given equation written in general form. If you look at the equation x squared plus y squared plus 6x minus 6y minus 46, we cannot figure out what's the center and what's the radius. But if we change this equation to a standard form, something that looks like this, then hk would be the center and r would be the radius. Let's start by rearranging. Put the 6x next to the x squared and put the negative 6y next to the y squared and rewrite the general equation in this form. Now let's use the completing square to change x squared plus 6x into bring down the x, bring down the operation, divide 6 by 2, it becomes 3, square the whole thing, and always subtract the square of 3, which would be 9. Let's do the same thing for y squared minus 6y. Let's change it to a perfect square. Bring down the y, bring down the operation, which is minus, divide 6 by 2, that would be 3, square the whole thing, always subtract the square of 3, which would be 9. And bring down the negative 46. Now, we need to move the negative 9, the negative 9, and negative 46 to the right-hand side, and if you add them up, this is negative 9 plus negative 9, negative 18. Negative 46 would be negative 64. Move it to the right-hand side, becomes 64, which is 8 squared. So now we're almost done. This is a plus 3, but the original standard form is minus h, so let's go ahead and change it to minus minus 3. When doing this, this minus will be the minus here, but now h becomes negative 3. And, the, you know, minus minus will bring it back to plus, so we haven't changed anything. But now we know that h is negative 3 and k is plus 3 because this is exactly like y is y, minus is minus, and 3 is k. So k is 3 and the radius is 8. Let's go ahead and plot this curve. Center at negative 3 is 3 and radius is 8. So the center is, let's pick the circle option here. Try negative 3 and then plus 3. This would be the center and the radius is at 8. So this would be 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's make sure this is right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and that's it. That would be the center of the, that would be a radius, a circle of center at negative 3, 3, and radius at 8. And notice we have two y-intercept here and two x-intercept. To find the y-intercept and the x-intercept, let's start by finding the y-intercept. Just plug it in, x equals 0. So here we have a 3, which is from here. 3 squared is 9. y minus 3 squared equals 64. Move the 9 to the right-hand side. This becomes 64 minus 9, which is 55. Do the square root property. y minus 3 quantity squared. Next square root would be y minus 3 plus or minus square root of 55. Again, taking square roots on both sides, I get y minus 3 plus or minus square root of 55. Add 3 to both sides, y equals 3 plus or minus square root of 55. Let's go back to the graph. We have a 3 plus square root of 55, and we have a 3 minus square root of 55. That would be the y-intercept. Now we can do the same thing for the x-intercept and find these two points. If we go back here, all we need to do here is put y equals 0 this time. By putting y equals 0, I'm going to get x plus 3 squared plus 9 equals 64, and then move the 9, you get 55. x plus 3 squared equals 55. Do the square root and find the x. Good luck.